So today we got player of the month Mbappe. I've been waiting for him. You've been waiting for him. I've been waiting for him based off his price. I know we all wish we're kind of still waiting for him, but we got him. This card right here is close to almost 2 mil. All right, he's going to be worth almost 2 million coins, but is he better than team of the year Mbappe, right? That's what it's all about. Can he be better? Is he better? Is he smart? Dude, you got 30 days to complete him. Everybody has a lot of fodder on their account. Um, look, man, I'm going to complete him. And we're going to give him a try, and I'm going to talk about him, and I'm going to talk about things I like, things I dislike, things I don't like, things I think you should do, shouldn't do. Let's get him into the team, man. Let's go ahead and complete this big boy, player of the month in Bop. Let's see at least a dope-looking walkout. Okay, 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 okay. The car does look incredible. I love the car design. Uh, we need the image. We definitely need the dynamic image, but hey. W all around. Okay, so this is the team I'm going to be using. I need Team of the Year Messi, but at the moment, Team of the Year Messi, I need him, my David Beckham to sell. He's in the market for sale, so that could bring in Team of the Year Messi. But until then, it's all about Mbappe. There's the team I'm going to be using. Jude Bellingham on two is going to be on one. is going to be fine. And I want to talk about him. Um, I went into a game already, but the dude backed out, unfortunately, so I didn't get to play. Now, with that being said, there's a few things I want to talk about. His inform at the same overall goes for 1.5. Now, you got to remember, this one's at 1.8 right now, almost 2 million coins. But if you got fodder, you're going to do them for under 1.5 million based on the fodder you have on your account, which means you're going to get an inform Mbappe for free. Now, um, they're almost the exact the similar card. This one has a few things better. That card has a few things better. Whatever. It is what it is. At the end of the day, guys, it's something I want to talk about when you compare this card to the team of the year how much do you value 9.7 million coins what do I mean by that if gold Mbappe or this Mbappe can score you 100 goals in 90 games what does team of the year have to do to be worth it does he have to score uh 300 goals in 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 90 games like what is the value that you look at what is how do you value money to the card right because in my opinion guys and, and and let me try to make this make as much sense as possible once the card is overpowered or very the best like right and i think that this is the best mbappe i think the best besides r9 is the best card in the game right because he can do everything he got the skill moves that's the weak foot he got everything right he got even his his weak foot feels like a five star weak foot he's a high low he's perfect but at the end of the day when you really really sit down and you think about mbappe and you think to yourself Okay, if he's that good, that amazing, what is team of the year going to do that this one can't do? Is he going to finish everything you shoot? The answer is no, because if we all play with his loan. If you play with him, he still misses because there's RNG to FIFA, right? So his RNG lets you miss goals. Um, does this one going to miss goals? Yeah, because there's RNG. So at what point do you does Mbappe no longer need an upgrade? And at what point is it not worth the upgrade anymore? That's what I'm trying to say to you. Is this card obviously better than his gold? Of course. Is his team of the year going to be better than this one? Probably. But at the end of the day, are you going to do the same stats with a 92 that you're going to do with the team of the year? Most likely, they'll be very similar. Maybe a goal or an assist here or there. Let's get into the game. Again, I'm not saying that the team of the year is not going to be better or he is better or he's this or he's that. No, 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 no. That's not what we're talking about here. What I'm talking about here is the fact that how do you value money to a card and what do you need him to do on the field stat-wise to make him worth that money? Team of the Year Mbappe is a stupid amount of money and a card should never be worth that much money in FIFA. Even if you're Ronaldinho, Mbappe, no matter who you are, that's a lot of money, lads. A lot of money. When you get to 9 million coins, I mean, how many people have a 9 million coins in the round? Yeah, this one, look, he feels like Mbappe. He moves like Mbappe. You know why? Because he is Mbappe. Come on now. Let's see what we could do with big boy Mbappe. Oh, the turns are lovely. He's partnered up with Hugo Sanchez. I wish I had team of the year Messi for this, but I don't. My boy Mbappe could be through here. Hits the nice move. Keeper comes out wrong. And I just shoot into the back of now. I thought he would move keeper. We tied a game. My opponent did score. And again, instantly, boys, it just it feels like Mbappe, right? If it, it feels it feels, it, it just feels like Mbappe. He's broken, dude, right? He's gonna, his goal to game ratio is gonna be huge, as Mbappe always is. I don't think I've ever had an Mbappe that has a negative goal to game ratio. It's really hard to do because you could kind of just pop balls up to him and he's gonna run onto them. Here comes Mbappe again. And we don't want to be greedy. If it's open, feed the needy. It wasn't open. I just take the Travella shot. We quickly go up 2-1. And my boy Mbappe is doing Mbappe type things. Again, it's really, really, really hard, boys, to not love Mbappe. And love every card that he has in the game. Because there, there's things that other cards just can't do in the game that Mbappe can do, right? Mbappe is the new Cristiano Ronaldo's when it comes to FIFA. If you guys are old heads and you played the old FIFAs, you guys know that it doesn't matter which card it is, how many cards they drop. Cristiano Ronaldo is Cristiano Ronaldo and he could score a stupid amount of goals from almost anywhere and he's very, very fast. Mbappe got the ball up on the wing. Mbappe, skill move inside, breaks one, lays it off to Messi. Messi hits the shot, Golasu, and it's Mbappe doing Mbappe type things. Elastico, nice pass inside to my homie Messi. Messi's going to finish that. It's just flashback Messi, wait till his team of the year. And the 4-1-2-1-2 narrow, which I'm playing right now, is absolutely cooking. And my boy Mbappe, uh-oh. 
Oh, Jude, are you good, bro? And my boy Mbappe is only going to continue to score a stupid amount of goals because this formation that we play in scores a lot of goals. So his goal to game ratio is going to be one of the craziest in this formation. Messi. Kevin. Bang it. Golasso. He's out of here. We can try Mbappe in the next game. Again, the first opponent backed out. Um, and, and here, um, Mbappe picked up two. So already it's two games for him uh, and two goals. Um, but remember... One backed out, so it should be one game, two goals, and we'll move into another one to see what he could do against another team. A lot of people will be wondering what formation I'm using. I'm using the 4 one 2 and 2 narrow. These are my custom. I have a whole video on it. As you can see, Mbappe, Hugo Sanchez up top, Messi, Jude Bellingham, Makaleli, and my boy Kevin De Bruyne. Um, loving the team right now. One thing I kind of want to do is switch these two uh, because I attack with my... This is probably really bad, but I attack with my left back. Um, a lot. I'm going to switch it to where my right back is the one that goes up so I can have Robertson in his natural position. Anyways, let's jump into a game. Can't wait for team of the year Messi to be on the team. All right, let's run it up in another one. I guarantee here, as long as we don't get a back out, we're eventually going to see a big boy hat trick for my boy Mbappe. Hugo Sanchez pops this one up towards Mbappe. Mbappe takes the inside route and he's just never going to miss it. This, the, Yo, he, he he's just never going to miss it, man. The Travella right-footed shot with the speed. It's just... Oh man, you know I haven't played with Mbappe in a couple, a couple, a couple of uh, uh, in a while. I just haven't been playing with him. I've been playing with like other cards, and I mean, ah oh, man, when you do play with him again, you're just you're freak, you're just freaked out by it, bro. You're, it's 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 insane, man. He's just he's good, dude. Yes, he misses every every player misses. Yes, he has his misses and stuff, but the things he can do in in this game compared to other players is just night and day. Ball rolling side, turning side, Travella. Oh wow, that I think that if that didn't take a deflection, don't do him. Nah, I'm kidding. It did. We gotta continue to try different things. So we gotta try the Magidi from here. Kind of wish I would have gotten a lot of a little bit more power on that. To be honest with you guys, the Magidi, the uh, not the Magidi, that's the Magidi. I meant to say Travella. Um, I, I kind of do. I, I've never been a great Travella with uh, Travella with Mbappe. I'm gonna be honest with any of his cards. It's not something that I've ever been that that uh that great on. You know, I tried to Travella that one. Wow, I Travella that one. It almost snuck in. Yeah, I've never been the craziest when it comes to being able to hit Travellas with Mbappe. I'll be honest. Nice ball inside. Big shot. Big goal. Um, hat trick Mbappe. Nice over the top. I told you guys in, in four one two and two narrow. My striker score a crazy amount of goals. If 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 you watch the RTG, I got Perez. And I got Hugo Sanchez, and Perez has like, I don't know, 58 games and almost 100 goals. It's crazy, man. The amount of goals you score with your strikers in the narrow is, um, it, it's, a, it's a lot. Your, your cam gets involved a lot too, but it, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. My boy Hugo Sanchez has to wait for a second. I go over the top to Mbappe. He actually, oh, oh, that was a bad first touch. That should have been 4 0. No, Mbappe with an extremely bad touch right there, bro. Y'all all saw it. I saw it. Y'all saw it. That was a very, 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 very bad touch. Had him in. He definitely should have scored. Hugo Sanchez on the turn. Back to Messi. Couldn't get the shot off. Ah, man. Mbappe got to score that one for sure, bro. That's that. See, that might be where Team of the Year controls that correctly, right? That might be the extra goal that, that, you, don't, that you don't get, that you get with a Team of the Year. Messi. He holds. I go back to Mbappe. Mbappe gets bullied off the ball. Messi back into Mbappe. A quick heel to heel. He's through. And that's what makes Mbappe Mbappe. The quick heel to heel is going to free up so much space. You're in. You bang it. Cross body. Nobody's saving and no keeper in the world. And I want to say that my boy Mbappe is now officially at four goals um, in this game. Two goals in the first game. That's six and two. Um crazy stat line i show you this remember one guy backed out so two games six goals one assist and i ask you guys a question what would team of the year have right now let's jump into it and again guys i i i never want to i i don't want to downplay what a team of the year means right but i do want to really emphasize how <laughs> that many coins oh is a lot of coins good goal Mbappe. it's a lot of coins y'all nine point something million coins i mean let's be realistic you know a, a normal player who has that bro I, I i'm a content creator and i it's hard for me to find nine million coins just chilling Hugo sanchez i have a cutback on here for mbappe ah uh, that's that's a sweat goal that listen i didn't know the goalie was coming i was actually running this way so i could pop it back to mbappe so i wouldn't so i wouldn't have like this guy and the goalie so i didn't actually know when i crossed that that's a sweat goal that that shouldn't even count to his tally that should be a hugo sanchez goal because i got past the, past the goalie i just didn't see the goalie coming on the radar i want everybody to understand that this guy might be uh might be done i don't want to pad the stats of mbappe here 
Uh, I'll pad the stats of Hugo Sanchez to see if he backs out. Please, but hey, he missed. You gotta be kidding me, y'all. <laughs> I didn't want, guys, that's, I didn't want to pat. Like, if what am I supposed to do? Not shoot? Hey, this guy's back playing again. Look, now he's playing again. What am I supposed to do? He's playing again, y'all. Nah, this guy's a weirdo, dude. Why didn't you just back out, man? Mbappe's gonna be wide open here. What a ball to Mbappe. Mbappe cooks one. Mbappe low driven. Mbappe scores. Another one. Two of them were really cheesy. This guy finally backs out. We pick up another W with Mbappe and we can move. So once again, I want to try to explain it. How do you value your coins? Because now he has four games play. One guy backed out and it's three, ga three, three games. And in three games, he put up 10 goals. But let's take two off because they were very sweaty. In three games, he has eight goals. What does team of the year do for you? In three games, does he give you 13 goals? Now, one thing I do want to say about team of the years, and this is a very, very interesting thing to, to pay attention to. As you guys can see here, this one has 88 stamina. Team of the year Messi. I mean, team of the year Mbappe. Excuse me. Team of the year Mbappe is where it's going to get very juicy, guys. Team of the year Mbappe stan stam is going to be... 99 so when you get into those late games 120th minute games you know extra time games he's gonna still be full 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 health and this guy's gonna be you know very tired right the lungs are gonna be going but 9.4 million coins 9.6 million coins is what team of the year mbappe goes for how do you value your coins this one's at 1.5 let's see if it went down now at this point um it's at 1.8 excuse me and that one's at 9.7 how do you value your coins for that little bit of extra lung space for him to run a little bit more late in games or an extra two or three goals how do you value your money personally i think this mbappe is better than team of the year um to complete why he's not better than team of the year team of the year is going to be a better card and get you more goals most likely but what he can do on the field is very close to what team of the year can do unless you're an exceptional player the one percent the pro players that are going to utilize every single little different thing and never miss a chance because you green every shot you hit every skill perfectly you're not going to notice that little bit of a difference it's not going to hurt you in any way shape or form at the end of the day Player of the Month Mbappe, I think personally, is better value than Team of the Year Mbappe. Now, now, let me say this. Player of the Month Mbappe is still extremely expensive compared to other cards that are on the market. This one, 1.8. Untradeable where you can get his inform for 1.6, right? Um, listen, you got to look at all those things. But guys, not all of us have a bunch of coins laying around. That's the big thing. And I want you guys to be real about it. Do you think that you're ever going to have 9.7 million coins? If the answer is no, and even if you did, do you want to waste it on Mbappe? If the answer is no, and you have fodder, this is the guy for you. Hopefully this didn't, or you did, hopefully this helps you guys with, with Player of the Month Mbappe. I love you guys very much. Thank you guys for watching my video. We're back tomorrow with another one. Booyah, we out of here.